Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Parkour Maker plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create parkour maps for your players to play. And there's loads of cool features, whether it be rewards or checkpoints or a full zone. It's a very well made plugin and it's easy to use. Now the first thing you want to do is create a lobby area and then once you get here you can do the forward slash pm command. That's going to show you all the different commands. Now the command we want is the forward slash pm set lobby command and then once you've done that we can go ahead and build our own parkour track and do the command forward slash pm create parkour and then we're going to call it server miner. There we go. So now that's put us in edit mode so now there's a few things we must do. So we require to set a finish and a start point and then you can add checkpoints but you don't have to. So if you do forward slash pm uh, set start and then hit enter. That is going to set the start point for the map. And the finish, we can either set an area or we can set a block. So what I'm going to do is use my world edit wand and just select this area here as the finish. And then what we can do is forward slash pm set finish and then multi as we selected a world edit area. Now that we've done that, there's a few other things we want to do, such as adding checkpoints. So once again, checkpoints can be a single block or a multi-block. So what I'm going to do is select these with world edit and then do the command for slash pm add checkpoint and then this one's going to be multi and it's going to be number one. And then I'm going to do the same for the second one. And it's going to be point number two. And then finally, this is going to be point number three. Now once we've done that, we can set a full zone. So this is where players will fall into if they miss a block here and they will be teleported back to the start or the checkpoint that they were at previously. So go ahead and select a welder area covering the underneath portion of it. And then once you've done that, we can do forward slash PM, add full zone. And there we go, full zone one has been added. Now there's a few other cool commands that you can uh, use for example. So you could set the finish teleport if you wanted them to go somewhere else after it. You can set the cooldown, so the amount of cooldown before they can try again. And then there is attempts, so if we do forward slash pm set attempts, um, and this is going to be three for example, so you only get three attempts at completing the map before you get kicked out and lose. Now once we've done this, we can go ahead and do PM toggle followed by the map name and that's going to enable it and then we can do PM edit to get out of edit mode and we can go ahead and join our map. So if we do 4 slash PM lobby, that will teleport us to the parkour lobby. We can do 4 slash PM join and then server miner and that will teleport us to the beginning of the map and I'm kind of cheating with this. I've reached the first checkpoint and if I jump off it teleports me back to the first checkpoint. You can probably see where this is going. There's checkpoint number two and I fell off and got teleported back. We'll go through checkpoint number three and then I only have one spare life left so if I make this jump there we go. I finished the server mine map in t just under 28 seconds so pretty pretty fast and that is what you can do to make a basic map. Obviously there are lots of other things you can do. Now if we go back into edit mode, pm edit um, and then server miner, we can do full slash pm set finished message and we can say congrats on finishing and then we can also set a start message. Good luck with the map. And then we can go out of edit mode and we can hopefully join it. And you can see it pops up in front of me. Good luck with the map. And then we could cheat, rush down to the end. And congrats on finishing. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. It's working great on 19.2. And as you can see, here are all the cool features. And if you want help in setting it up or to look at various commands, uh, this is the wiki page, tons of good information here on how to set up everything. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.